So Malkit Singh jumps back on stage. We start singing the first banger. I can't remember what it was. And all of a sudden, you see a fair few, like five or six Punjabi people come to the front, get their phones out, and start doing videos with him at the door. At the door, at the front of the stage. Videos, I want a selfie. He's going up to them, loving it, enjoying the moment, having a good time. Problem is, when you start entertaining that, what's going to incur next, Karan? Everybody on the ground floor descended to the front of the stage. Stamp, stampede! It looked, it looked like fucking chaos. I sat there up the top and I thought, I'm glad I'm at the top. And I'm seeing venue staff not looking very happy. What's up, people? Welcome to this week's episode of the Indie and Doctor podcast. Karan Satsri Akal. Akal. Okay, da pota. Ham mithe ganne, mithe ganne, roz chupiye ni yari jatta de munde de nare lariye. I'm not doing it, bro. If that guy let me down differently. Right, we're not covering this now. That's number one. That's coming in the confession segment. But yeah, okay. Ho, confession is not what's happening. It's a confession. I went with my oh. wife. It's a confession. You know oh. what I mean? Okay, then fine. Um, Life hack. What to talk about? Life hack. So this is the most Indian I've spoken in a while. Yeah, you've been busy, bro. Why do you enlighten? Why been, do you enlighten everybody? You've been busy about these dookie messages you've been sending me. Listen, listen. It's let, me really, let me read it out, actually. It's not dookie let me read messages. This out. It's not dookie wait, messages. Wait, wait, let me, let me read this out. This is brilliant. This Absolutely is, this nothing is classic, dookie about it. This is classic checking up on a mate. Indie Overthinking, right? Oh, okay, here we go. this is checking up on a mate. One second, one second. That's what it is. Hey, bro, comma. I've noticed that you're acting out of character. Yes. And I think you might be going through a lot right now. Yes. Let me know the best way to communicate to help. Yes. And then options. This is how well he knows me. He gives me options. He's trying to NLP me. Number one, sending a bulk message once every X amount of days of things to be done. Yes. Number two, a call. Number yes. three, wait for you to reach out to me about stuff outstanding and we go from there. Yes. Number four, open to all the other suggestions that will support you best. And this motherfucker takes how long to reply to it? You sent that on Saturday. Yeah, I replied Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this guy. He expects instant ta 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 ta. No, no, I'm not expecting instant. No. I'm like same day at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I said, well, I explained. I, explain I was busy. What the? I was being beat up. No, be, no, I wasn't even being busy. That was the thing. I wasn't being busy. Wow. So you couldn't even uh, be fucked. Okay, basically, that's what you're saying. No, but a fawn and scene. This is the thing I was explaining to you before we got on the call. I've just been in a bit of a kind of reflective space where phone, laptop's been away. Just go to work, come home, be with come, Chindi, go on nice long walks, and uh, you know, forget about the podcast. So that's basically it. Um. Yeah, but uh, what was I going to tell you about? I'll tell you about it later. But the AJ fight. Let me remind me to tell you about the AJ fight. Why don't you remind yourself? Reminded. Thank you. Wow. Because last week we were meant so, to talk about something in the pod, and I said I'd talk about it at the end, and I didn't because somebody had to leave. Yeah. About ten minutes early. Because of parental responsibilities. Yeah. It wasn't parental yeah. responsibilities. Yeah. You had other responsibilities. <laughs> Bible studies. Oh, oh, oh Bible studies. Yeah, oh, I, I need to go and attend to my Bible lesson. Right? I did. I did. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. If um, you're wondering what Indy's talking about, it's not blasphemy, number one. And it is genuinely Bible studies. Yeah. So, so I have reconnected with one of my teachers from uh, secondary school. Shout out to Mr. T. Uh, he off. was His my biology teacher. T. Don't do this. No, His name no, is not Mr. T. Well, no, it's not, but it starts with T and I don't want to give his name away. So. Okay, fine. Fair. Thank so God. That's, that's Thank not funny. God. I didn't think of that okay. when I said that. Yeah. 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 Oh, pretty the fool. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so he was a biology teacher in <laughs> secondary school. <laughs> what do you need to know? <laughs> oh, somebody remind him of that. Uh, oh, it's Jamie, actually, my PT. Do, uh, do you remember Rocky Three? Club of Lang, yeah? I, I don't remember it clearly, but yeah. I okay, okay. It's... Basically, there's a bit where he really wants to fight Rocky and Rocky's just not taking the fight. He's like, I'm retired, I'm retired. So then Clubber, the Clubber goes to Adrian and goes, hey, woman, hey, woman, you want a real man? You call me tonight. <laughs> he's like, Rock, Rocky's like, oh! <laughs> he just goes in and over that scene. Hey, woman, you want a real man? You call me tonight. <laughs> it's, just, it's so funny. Um, so yeah, coming back to it. So this teacher, Andy, and I think this will be the case for most people. You have one or two teachers in your life. I hope you have this experience. You just change the game, man. 
like saw potential, unlock potential, were just really like, you know, you, you got something because of them. Like something clicked in your mind and you just, for me, that was him in biology. I'm trying to think. Um, uh, and he's like, I uh, went to private school, went to private school. No, there was, out, there was one teacher. Yeah. Uh, okay. her, name, her name is Miss Bateman or Mrs. Bateman, but we called her Miss Bateman. Uh, she was amazing. No miss, yeah. She actually taught okay. me the way chemistry works in an easy flow and function. Instead chemistry. of it being such straight linear, this is the textbook, this is the answer, this is the formula. Mm. She helped explain mm. it in human terms, which made it so she much connected easier with in my head. And I thought, wow, I used to ask her, can I sit in your lessons like when I have like a free period? You know how you had those six form where you had like gaps. Oh, okay, you were talking about A level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so A level chemistry, I struggled big time. Bro, bro, bro. Let's yeah. just back up here. Yeah. Back up. Yeah. Mom went to university to study geography. Why are you doing chemistry A level? I was bro? told I had to do a science. Just, wait, 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 that pause, was a pause, family pause. decision. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That was, I was a gonna family say, decision. Okay? What's the, uh, yeah, the only reason you do chemistry is what, bro? To go and study? Everything, doctor, medicine, pharmacy, or engineer, okay. or, yeah, or yeah, the yeah, author yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not geography, bro. Man's there doing chemistry. Listen, oh, I had to shit. do a science. I was told. I was like, all right, I'll find, I'll meet you on the science. Yeah. So I chose chemistry and she was great. Yeah. Absolutely great. Yeah. Hmm. Connected. Big See, time, man. And that, that's, that is the beauty of teachers, man. And uh, that's why, as you know, you've seen me teaching medics. How, how much do I love teaching indeed? You've seen it now, live in action. Like uh, days can go by, man. I can have no food, run on coffee and Red Bull, as you know. I just love it, man. Because when you con when you connect with a student and they get it, and you can see that they get it, and they're like, "Oh my god, I've been trying to learn this for like years," and then you just like and said one thing, and then bang, they get it. I'm like, that is the beauty of teaching. It's taking the complex and making really simple, like Phew. the mother, the mother, man. Exactly. Um, so yeah, so he uh, he now teaches theology. And uh, we just connected. We're big cricket fans, so we connected again over cricket. And uh, then we just, I was like, just teaching about the Bible. He's very much uh, um, into So you his, left the uh, podcast faith. early to wax lyrical about Jesus. Yes. Wow. Yeah, so that was that. Um, so just to summarize, this is the most Indian I've spoken in a while. Um, me and it's India are still friends. It was a week. Relax. It wasn't even a week. It was like five days. We had in between calls so in the week. So if it wasn't a long time, then why are you worried? And that's my point, isn't it? Because I was just noticing your behavior patterns and thinking, what is this? <laughs> what is this? Why? Yeah. I'm not used to this. Why are you not, why are you not bashing me? Why was it only no, bashing? No, it wasn't bashing. It was just, you were taking a while to respond to my messages. And I was like, okay, this is weird. And then you were not replying to anything that people were sending. And I was like, God, you need to action this, 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 and this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, stuff in the okay. box. And you're like, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 okay, we'll be done. And then I was thinking, can you just fucking do it, right? Because on the one yeah, hand, yeah, yeah. you're saying this, then in a fucking yeah. other WhatsApp group, you're group. sending like 20 messages. And I'm like, dickhead, focus. <laughs> you know, this, this, I'm gonna... Basically, you guys, so we have Indy and I are in multiple groups. So basically, it's a main podcast group, which is Podcast Strategy, which the WAGs are in. And then we have another group, which also with the WAGs, which is just our fun stuff, indie bashing mainly. And basically, on that day, he was sending a proposal for somebody to come on the podcast. And he's like, here, read the draft. And I was responding in the other group, like, ha, 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 indie bash, 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 bash. And he was like, Salia, Salia, what did you want? Yeah, exactly. Just fucking reply in there. And you're like, we'll be done before I go to bed. Then an hour later, oh, yeah, forgot about this. We'll be done now. And then I'm thinking, Geez, hurry the fuck up, man. You By the I time love. you okayed it the very next day, I thought, yeah, I don't want to yeah. do this offer anymore. I withdrew it, okay? And I'm glad you took a while to, to respond. Thank you, because I didn't send it. So there you go. Oh, you didn't send it? Oh, no, I didn't enough. send okay. it. Um, I love how Sanj came to my rescue, though. Which bit? Sanj knows me. Which bit? She was like, executive decision. I can speak for Karen. Da, 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 da. So <laughs> Sanj understands. Maybe. She understands, you know? She operates on a high level. I operate on a high level. You operate on a level. I operate so, on all levels. High level, low level, every level. Flipping. Big man. Skylight level, Big everything. Man. All the levels, mate. That's me. Big man. I am the operator in the sky. I am the soldiers on the ground. Everything. Sorry, I know. Bro, tu Yes, exactly. Bro, steaming baby. Not a tata. Tata. Thank you. I didn't say that, did I? I know. No, no, no. Kusara. No, kusara. Kusara. Sorry. Kosa, not Kosa. 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 There you go. That's it. What's the difference between the two friend. I just said? Kosa. 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 Yeah. Kosa. Sorry, what? Do that again. Kosa. Kosa. 
Kosa. Yeah. And then you went Kosa. So I say KH and you're just saying K. Say both. Kosa. Kosa. Second one's correct. Second one's correct. Mm. Kosa. Kosa Bani no, So it isn't a KH. It's not Kaka. No. It's a Kaka. Yeah. Bani Thank, Thank you. Kosa Bani Plade. That's, that's all I need to know. Thank you. Yeah, diga, diga. Bus, bus, bus. And I, I really enjoyed that reel, but it also reminded me to tell you. So, garmi is a word. You did say it, but it's just not right in that context. I know. I know. Menu garmi lagdiya. I feeling the heat. But it's garam pani. Yeah. They hone menu garam pani plade. See? Thank you. Bro, you know, you know, you, you, you. <laughs> You're a different level now. Yes. No one comes close to your level. Look how many people. You had a comment that said, I love the way Indy speaks Punjabi. And I was like, bro, like what? <laughs> it's aggressive. <laughs> huh? It's aggressive. That's oh, not that Punjabi. Talking, it's just aggressive. Oh, okay, okay. It's straight okay. like, say, huh. say, there's, say there's no dumb. like, there's no politeness there. It's just straight. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's it. It's that all day long. <laughs> Yeah, and then you see your father and all, oh, the key! Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> That's getting made into one, I think. Uh, I think I'll figure that out. Uh, but yeah. It was brilliant. Yeah, man. Right, give me my jingle <laughs> bells, right, cool. man. Let's get going. Confessions of Brown Monday. And you're going first this week, mate. Keep people yeah, waiting cool, no problem. for the Malkit thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Four month regression. Okay. Oh God! Yeah, mate, you're gonna learn today. What's regression? Regression means so the, the word regression in general. So not in the context of income here or baby, just means going, going backwards. backwards essentially. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tiga. So babies have certain points where they regress. You think everything's going smoothly, and the one thing you will learn in the bead is that the day you think you got it figured out. The next day, day falls nope. apart. <laughs> nope. No, no, that day is fine. You're like, yeah, I'm a oh, big man. Yeah, yeah I'm a parenting the book. Yeah, yeah. People DMing me for advice about a baby. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. The next day, nope. No, it doesn't work anymore. You need a new Rubik's Cube formula for the next day. Achha. So the four-month regression is basically neurologically the baby is progressing. Okay. So we'll talk about in the context of sleep. That's the the most important point here. So initially, the way a baby knows to sleep is not based on night and day. Okay. That's very important to understand. So we have the rhythm, circadian rhythm, which tells us melatonin goes high in the evening, we feel sleepy, we go to sleep, right? Night and day, night and day. Babies sleep based on what they call sleep pressure. When the pressure is high, they fall asleep, irrespective of where they are, irrespective of time of day, which is why when babies are very young, they can sleep. They sleep most right, of the so day. if their need for sleep starts coming up, then, then they knock out. Yeah, that's it, any time. Irrespective of time. Yeah, that's called sleep pressure. <clears throat> that is so invaluable. If you're a new parent, you're listening to this, or you're going to have kids one day, it's not... So, And the reason why it's important is the context is if you start thinking, yeah, yeah, my sleep training, Karni, I'm going to do sleep training, it doesn't do anything. You still do it because you're trying to condition them for the longer term. Longer term, I mean, beyond kind of six, eight weeks, something like that. But that initial period, it's just they're going to sleep when they want to sleep when they're tired. They're going to be awake when they want to be awake, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, very small wake period, and then asleep again. Mm. What you're trying to do is condition them with things like swaddle, white noise, dod, low lights. You're still trying to do it based on what they're going to develop. So prior to this regression, EK was doing really well, sleeping good amounts uh, throughout the night, all good. And then suddenly what starts happening is they start progressing, which means she starts waking up. Even though the conditioning is the same, so goes down at the same time, Dodapilia, um, in her sleep blanket now, she's not being swaddled anymore, but then just waking up. And sometimes she doesn't really need anything, it's just a bit of comfort from Shindi, or sometimes it's Dodis, or sometimes they say you might need an extra feed. Um, so anyway, that's aggression. Have you tried dream feeding? I heard about this on the Yeah, website. yeah, yeah. Actually, ba- Balto told me about that, your birthday actually. Mm, heard about Shindi's it. much better at it than me. If you don't know what dream feeding is, basically force feeding your baby while they're asleep. That way they I, don't wake up. Yeah, I understand the the merit of it. I just don't like doing it. It just feels a bit like mean. Forceful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but then you got to remember, Shindi sleeps Ekam more. So if Ekam's asleep because she's full, that's good for Shindi. Yeah. Whereas for me, I'm like, nay, 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 tu ni karna. And she's like, yeah, but you're not sleeping here. So shut up. <laughs> yeah. So 
I will do it to a point, but then I'm like, Shindy, she's out, man. She's like, out. I'm not like forcing the dud in her mouth, man. And Shindy's like, yeah, man. And then Shindy's got his like tactics, she, like she tickles the cheek and like, rubs the cheek. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? What is that? And a bit more dud. Bam. There you go. She, she knows what she's doing. So yeah, just dream feeding. So when it's generally fr- Friday and Saturday, I'll sleep in the room as well. Other days I'm sleeping separately. And uh, what a luxury. Yeah, yeah. Because she sleeps so well, so Shindy's like, you got to go work, so sleep properly. Very, very, very spoiled. She sleeps so well, why don't you sleep in the same room as her? Got it. Because then it disturbs Shindy in the mornings when I wake up early. I have to have an alarm. Alarm goes off, that wakes up PK. It's not good. The alarm wakes up PK. She says it's sound. Yeah, all babies, man. (laughs) When it's a loud noise, they wake up. (laughs) I'm not sensitive to sound at all. (laughs) I'm just thinking, where did I, where did I go? Where was I? Ah, yeah, that, that's what it was. So last Friday, AJ fight, right? Um, went to the fight. Went to a, sorry, you uh, you went to Riyadh. No, I went to watch the fight. Okay, good. Uh, I was about good to say clarity. the next, the good, next, good clarity, the next yeah. sent. No, the next sentence I was coming to. I just had to say I went. We were, we were having a mixy, so I went to work. Worked two till ten, and then drove to the the pub, Broadway Bar and Grill, and then the fight was supposed to be at ten past eleven. Didn't start to like quarter past twelve half 12 something like that, really late anyway so i messaged shindy and i was like oh, i was thinking okay this is late one she's gonna be like sleep separately she's like no no when you come back come to the room and i was like, summoned oh. yeah 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 and i was like oh okay so i creep in fine ek sleep shindy sleep i'm like perfect tika it's like two o'clock at this point right the next day we're going to london and um that's the day you messaged me and, and then i was busy is that day when you got a snack. This is why, right? Yeah, yeah, no, because of Friday night, right? Because, so that night, so from two till... Let me just, listen, let me just get on. this straight. You were get snappy straight, because on. you had a good time the night before and you're taking it out on other people. I love how you're reframing that. <laughs> I, I got tell in a me, two. No, tell me, tell me. If she was on the other foot, you'd be doing the same thing to me right now. If what, sorry? If she wasn't on the other foot, you wouldn't do the same yeah. thing I'm doing right now. I don't care. Yes, you, you do. snap. I don't yes, care. You I just do. leave it to you. Do no, you care? No, no. You absolutely care. No, 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 no. Okay, let me rephrase. I do care, but I give you space. I'm just like, he'll come when he's ready. <laughs> that's, the diff- that's the only difference between you and me. I, I'm like, when somebody's clearly moody, I'm just like, fine, deal with this shit. Come back. It's not for me to fix it. I'm not, I'm not the fixer guy. Anyway, I get in at two. She is not sleeping, as in she's initially sleeping, but then she wakes up and she's waking up and she's waking up, right? It's like the second or third time. So Shindy's then like, all right, can you um, put her to sleep? She likes obviously movements. So I'm walking around, pacing up and down here. Now, on the floor over here next to my sofa are two carrier bags. Mm. I'm patting EK. I don't have, no, first I have in this position. And the position I'm in, because you've got to hold her and you've got to, at the same time it's quite you got to do like a bit of a rhythm right i don't see the bags and so i'm walking past the carry bags and you know you just hear a bit of a noise whatever you noise right shindy can you not step on the carry bags please oh mate she, she turned around around that side I'm like, okay here you go. do it one more time makes a noise doesn't say anything and then, so then I moved EK to my shoulder. I was like, perfect. I can now see the bags. But for whatever reason, I hit the bag for a third time. Fucking smashed it, mate. Bro. And then I've never seen Shindy move at such speed. So she's on that side of the bed. I'm over here. She does this commando roll. Rocket right? fuel. Like, bro, like SWAT team coming through the window. Speed, right? Like she's within half a second, she's there. Oh, shit, hit the mic. She, she's there, right? No eye contact. No words, but straight like, this is like, you know, boxing level, right? So, you know, Mike Tyson, do you know, he gets close to opponents and he just closes down the space and it's in your yeah, face. Immediately, yeah. He's like, poof, 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 immediately, like within two steps. She's like that. She's there. She's got this bag. She's flung the bag. Commander rolled back. Like, you know, the level of rage here, Indy, is not like the- Passive rage. So t- oh God. Now, here's the funny thing though, right? In her act of rage- so EK has a changing mat, which is always set up in the night. It's got the inco pad. It's got her, uh, what do you call it? Her nappies, the wet the wipes, is, not the wet wipes, the wet cotton pads to clean and bum and everything. In her rage, this is now fallen on the floor. She's oblivious to this. 
So I have Ikan on one shoulder. I'm doing a deep squat now, almost a Bertka, and I'm picking this up. I don't tell her this though until the next day. I was like, you know, when you did that, like, you know, that move, yeah, that commander roll, you know, you just threw everything else on the floor. He said, yeah, but you kept paying the carry bags. I was like, the carry bags that you placed there, I keep the room clean and you put the carry bags there. So, yeah. So that happened. I'm sure that went down a treat when you said that the next day. It's okay. We were in a good place when I said it. You, you got to. You have to say these breakfast. things when the mood is high. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, bro. Yeah. But from two till eight, there was no sleep. So it was the interrupted sleep, packing for London, going, your message, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with your message, but I know for me, it's like a, I never do tasks on the weekend. You know that now, like everything's done in, in the work week. It was a polite and reminder. And for some reason, and the, <laughs> yeah, to be fair to you, for some reason, normally I get the emails come in to tell me that statement has come through. Now they start going to junk, so I had to undo that. And because I was like, because when when you said it to me, I was in my head, I was like, this guy knows it's the fourth. Why is he messaging me? And then I looked at the calendar, I was like, oh shit, it's like the ninth or tenth. Okay, he he did way actually. <laughs> I gave <laughs> I was, you fair like, days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, first I was like, what a wanker now. <laughs> like, Why are you messaging me on a weekend about this shit? You know they do on a weekday. And then uh, then I saw it, and then I apologized to you. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then Indy Big Man plays it cool. No, no, didn't think you were snapping. No, no, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. My other Tika. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah okay. fine, fine. Then I went to Jim and I was like, okay, he's not all right. <laughs> we probably high fived on the motorway virtually, you know, because when you were going to London, I was going back up to Birmingham for the weekend on the Saturday. Okay. It's a weird thing to say, but okay. There you go. It's fine. It's cool. Okay. On to your point. It's fine. But hang on. Going back to the point, the regression. So what's the <laughs> result? Nothing. You just work through it. Oh, what, what a great morals for the story. Literally, I'm reading articles. That night, I'm there reading articles. And it's like, because you read, yeah, the symptom. Yeah. She's doing this. Yeah. Yeah. And then, unfortunately, there is nothing to that can be done here apart from... And then it says it can be from four months to two years. I was like, hey. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, bloody not. Um, but she's good. She's just, she's so cute. I bet she the is. Makes at 3 a.m. in the morning on a Friday night, you're like, you're not cute anymore. Go to sleep. Mate, remember they were both asleep. I could have just come in and gone to the other room and slept. I was like, you need to get out of Why would have given it to you the next day, bro, if you did that? She wouldn't have known that. She, she would have, because she would have been the one who woke up to deal with Ekam, like, where the fuck's yeah, going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would've she wouldn't have known, yeah, that's, he that's says. True. Come on, mate, be more cerebral mate, with your no pod- No podcast. There will be no podcast this week. Lockdown. Yeah. Everything bond. So. Got it bond. Podcast bond. Baby bond. The bag bond. Fun bond. bond. <laughs> Baby bond. Eyes Life bond. Indie bond. Eating bond. Hava <laughs> bond. Sa bond. Safai bond, everything bond. <laughs> no, Safai, no, no. She allows the Safai type of Safai card. Come to come, got the Safai card. Nothing else for you. Oh, God. Oh, go, man. Mickey? Okay. Well, I'm glad you're all right. Just add that down top, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Malakit Singh. I'm Malakit. I'm a tigger, I'm a tigger. Okay. The guy chooses to perform at South Bank mm. Center. Garden, you're tell from me, the Midlands, so you're not going to understand this. Correct. The South yeah. Bank Center is a center that's used for performing arts. It's quite a prestigious venue. It is not a venue for a dinner and dance up on our kind of rave. It is a sorry, sit down. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Are you saying venue? So two two parts clarification. One is it comparable to say something like the Hammersmith Apollo? That kind of prestige. Yes, close in right. terms of venue intimacy and venue right. spacing and layout. Number two, the second thing you basically said there is it's not made for Punjabis. That's basically what you're saying. You're saying we're just it's too rowdy. It's not made for what happened. Are let you saying that Punjabis you, aren't sophisticated? Let is that me, what you're saying? No. Let me tell you what happened. <laughs> no. what happened? Some Punjabis some are annoying, oh, oh, oh. but I won't say who. It was Some the older type. Are? Anyway, annoying. Like hooligan behavior, is that what you mean? Yes, bruv. Can, can, I, can I say one thing though? If you go to a Punjabi concert... It's not that kind of concert. 
It's not a Raf that's, Sefera that's what, that's, intimate, everyone what, standing venue. That's it's what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Bejo. Fuck's sake. Bejo the si dormant. Okay. Yeah. As in, were you, were you there like... I was in the top balcony, like high up. So I had a oh, good view. For, formations, was, yeah. <laughs> mate, I could see all the formations. I saw everything. Oh, yes. I saw it all, First man. place. My kid, first place. <laughs> All the bunger up formations were everything. 10 out of 10 for creativity. Yeah. Unfortunately, he scores a 3 out of 10 for creativity. There was no nakra. There was no movement. The formations were not dynamic enough. I could tell you were coasting. You missed out the, you missed out beats. You missed out moves. You didn't complete them. All that shit. Right. Sorry. I ran it. <laughs> anyway, back to the point. So as you can mm. tell, I'm very excited to tell you the story. Let's carry right. on. Malaki Singh. Mm. Malaki Singh. So me and Sanj get there and with weird Sanj's sister and her friend. Had a nice right. time. Get inside yeah. the venue for quarter to eight. Venue starts at 7.30. Yep. They meant 7.30. They wouldn't let people in to the doors. The doors were firmly shut. They wouldn't let people in. The venue staff? Was it venue staff? Or was it outsourced Punjabi bouncers and stuff? Venue staff were saying you cannot walk in in between songs. And I'm thinking... Got it. Got it. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking... Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. that kind of concert. Like, But, but they okay. don't know. But they don't know that, bro. It's like we... Last week I went to TBS and it was at the ICC... And it was like, well, okay, we've been to showdowns, right? And you just, everybody just walks around, you just do whatever, it's like a medla. This wasn't that. They were like, take your seats and sit down. No dancing. And they're flashing lights at us and stuff. And like, when you have venue staff, they don't understand the concept of it. They do not understand. And I don't think they did understand. But we got into the venue. Mm. We take our seats. Mm. Uh, yeah. I would say, Garam, it is two thirds full. That's me being generous. So I was expecting it to be like a set out, very busy, everything rammed. No. Why? Didn't get that. Why were you expecting Because I thought it's Mulkeet Singh, innit? You know, he's going to attract all the Punjabis from across London. But then I thought, Punjabis are cheap. We're not going to go into central London and pay for a cab and, sorry, pay for a cab, pay for a tube. Getting people in on a Friday night, maybe a Saturday night would have been better, but that's more expensive than the venue. Anyway, so we sit down and he's just mm. coming on stage. So we're thinking perfect timing. Everything's going well. So it's running on time then. It's running on time. First couple of songs he sings. I'm not a big Malkit Singh fan. I'm going to be very honest with you. I didn't recognize went, them. I looked over at because? Sanj. She did not recognize them. I was like, okay, this is not If going Sanj doesn't well. recognize them, that's... Um... Although he is kind of a bit before our time, no? A little bit, yeah. So I was thinking, look, I've Do got I mean... a list of songs in my head that you need to sing, okay? <laughs> For me to be like, Let's yeah. go through oh, them, I know. okay? I've got... Mithigan. <laughs> I've got Chalahun. I've got Jindamahi. Those are my three that I must hear tonight. Okay? I must hear yeah, them. Yeah. I'll let I'll let you give me Jagawaya. I'll let you give me that if you want to. But I don't oh, think yeah, you will. That's him as well, I it? don't think you will because we're not at a wedding. However, if you do that for me, I'll be very happy. Do you know what's funny? When I was DJing at my my sister's sister in law's wedding, yeah, that party, I looped that Jagawaya song for about 30 minutes because it doesn't stop. If you just loop it, it carries on the BPM of it. The beats stop perfectly. So it just carries on. Genuinely that. that you supposed to sing that. Oh, I don't, I don't know the rest of it. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that, 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 is only, that sound effect is only reserved for De De Gera. Nothing else. <laughs> It's not reserved for anything else. Okay, it's just that. Nothing else. On a slight little side note, bro. I don't know how we haven't discussed this yet. And please make this into a reel. Stop begging it. I just saw you. By Jagpal. Six-year-old Simran. Uh, uh. Come on, come on. You no, know, six-year-old Simran uh, isn't uh, her. Come on, come on. It's actually Doesn't Bally Jagpal who... doing an impression. Jello, Fine. But the point is, he's trying to be a six-year-old. So six-year-old girl, uh, uh, come on, come on. And then what Indy told me recently that the Kala was saying in between verses, which I had no idea until Indy told me very recently. It was Sanji told me. No, it wasn't Sanji told me. It was my, my, he's not my Jija, is he? What is Sook to me? Ponoya. What is it? Yeah. My Ponoya. Yeah. So Sorry. No, 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 no. Who are you? Sook. He's your Sadu. Sadu. That. 
You're okay. both son, you're both son-in-laws. I think it's Saru anyway. You're both son-in-laws. My brother-in-law, Suk. Yeah. He's yeah. the one who <laughs> said the white, in the white land is a brother-in-law. <laughs> he heard this for the first time yeah. and he's like, Is he saying Yeah. What's Ride he saying? the What's Punani? And Sanchez so like, could actually say that though. So could say no, that. no, no, he's not saying that. No. And then she played it back, and she was like, "Oh my god, I was a child and I was singing this song." And we're all singing this shit, but the thing is, no one knew what it was. So we'd all go, "Bali Jagpa." That's the bit. That's the bit we knew. Yeah. And then he goes, "I want to ride." How is that allowed in a song? It's not cool, bro. I just saw you. Uh, uh, come on, come on, and this. Man with his punani, you're like, what is this? What's man going on? Man with his punani, you need a lady for that, bro. But okay, all right. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just not right, man. So Mulkeet Singh jumps back on stage. Sorry, one final grievance Go against Mulkeet Singh. That you know, my man, but I great. There's no mention of Taya and Tai. Yeah, they missed out. Why? Big question. Well, Cha Cha and Chachi made it, so really, you should revise your uh, theory, shouldn't you? Just saying. So, in the Cha Cha Sanj Masi no. revise. There we go. Oh, no. All or nothing. Thank no. you. Just like getting into this. Okay. Next time. Not? Next Chal- time. Mokita. So we start singing the first bang. I can't remember what it was, and all of a sudden, you see. A fair few, like five or six Punjabi people come to the front, get their phones out and start doing videos with him at the door. Oh, at oh, the oh, door, oh, at the front of the stage, videos, oh, 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 I want a selfie. He's going up to them, loving it, enjoying the moment, having a good time. Problem is, when you start entertaining that, what's going to incur next, Karan? Ho 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 Sare ajo Sare Run to the stage ho, ho, ho. Everybody on the ground floor Descended to the front of the stage Stamp, Stampede it looked, it looked like fucking chaos I sat there up the top And I thought I'm glad I'm at the top And I'm not in the bottom in the stalls Because I'd be fuming People were standing in front of me They're essentially ruining your whole view Can't do anything mm. So that's all occurring And I'm seeing venue staff not looking very happy. So you can see on the side in the corner, the the security guard peeps his head in and he's like, this isn't good. Malkit Singh then runs off stage, comes back on stage in a few minutes time. Everyone's still there chilling at the front. He sang a part of, I think it's Jalhorn at this point. And he's teasing it, getting it ready to come out. Right, so he's got it teased. Teased, everyone's potentially coming on. And... He comes back on an outfit change, but I think he's been told, get these fuckers to sit down because he's very, very quiet and he's very quick at this point. He's thinking, I need to get this wrapped up quickly and go back off stage, which he does. He sings two songs, then goes back off stage. I'm thinking, okay, we're about an hour and a bit in. You sang five songs. In between each five songs, you've also tried doing this whole... Outfit change. You've done an outfit change. You've also given a lecture on like life and trying to be a comedian. Then he's also got his dolly next to him who isn't a dolly because he's not right. mic'd up. He's just playing a door and pretending to. And I'm looking at him thinking, you are not even playing Jala properly. I don't know what's going on. This guy then tries to be the ragamuffin gala in the songs. Right. So he takes the mic off Malkeed Singh and he tries to sing it and you can't hear him properly. Right. Which was really embarrassing. Uh, he gets the mic back off him. Great. Malkeed Singh is still doing his thing. What I will respect to him for is that he sang all of it live. However, he can't do a full live set. So it was a bit of a stamina. catch three. So yeah, stamina wise, he was missing out words, man. I know he's old. I get it. He's old. I was going to say, like, I know, I think he, he obviously dyes his, his beard and stuff, but he's got to be, like, he's been around a he's while. He's 60-ish, man. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So It's been around a while. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds like the production value wasn't that good. So prior to him going off stage, because there's so many Punjabi people at the front, what's the first thing that happens, Garden? People are going to invade the stage, aren't they? Guess who invades the stage? Little, Little Nyane! Nyane! Pungado, pao, yeah, buddy! Pungado! The Nyane ding, are ding, 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 Yeah, buddy, do the dance! Do the dance! Jasmeet, dance now! They're thrown on stage, Garden. They're like boosted up. They have a little nudge, and then they come back off stage. 
Fine. Anyone that impressed you? Anyone, anyone caught your eye? Did you scout anyone like yeah? Hey, I just thought I just sat there and thought, have your moment, man. Like fair play. Your 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 parents are gonna film this, they'll be happy. It's gonna be sent to everyone on the family WhatsApp in India tomorrow. It's all good. It's good. Get your moment. Yeah, buddy. Perfect. Perfect. So comes off stage. Fine. Sits down. Intermission. He prior to going on intermission, he says, I'm gonna sing a few English songs for you. Then he starts singing. Huh? Who let the dogs English out? English songs. He teased sorry? who let the dogs out. Sorry, sorry. No, no. Please, impression. Can't let you go that impression. Someone sent me the video. I'll send it to you after. I can't find it. Bro, you gotta you, just, no, it's just take one line out there. Who let the dogs out? Like that. <laughs> yeah. So there's an accent. There's clearly an accent on it. Yeah, of course there is. Of course there is. Yeah, I don't know. I've never heard him speak English. I don't know. Maybe it's, I don't know. He's, he's been here a long time now. Okay. Sorry, I don't understand the connection. Why is he singing English songs? Because he was trying to tease like, oh, other songs are coming soon. We're going to do this after the intermission. We're going to do that. You want to hear this? You want to hear that? Etc. I thought, okay, great. He goes off stage. Then security come out in full force. And what they start doing is they start taping down the whole front row with like security tape to say, do not invade this area, basically. To mm. stop people from coming to the front because health and safety were clearly not happy. And I'm sure some people who pay for tickets in the stalls were not happy. So mm. he comes back on stage. Fine. Getting everyone ready. It's now Dookie mode. You know, it's now sad songs o'clock. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm waiting for Jinder Mahi now at this point. <laughs> give me, give me the hick. <laughs> He did the first one. Kadina Pullina. Oh, Kadina Pullina. So he did the first hick, nailed it. I was like, good. Now you got to do the other ones. Good. Because gradually good. in the song, and I want my money's worth here, the song, he goes higher and higher. And in one of them, he does this whole like high hick, low hick, high hick, low hick. Yeah. And I'm like, I need to hear it. Yes. He did. He didn't do it. I was fuming. I, I looked at Sanj and I was like, Kadina Bulia. What was he doing, man? I did this to Sanj. I was like, ni. He's not doing it properly. And she's like, What? I said, He's not doing it properly. He's not doing it properly. And she's like, What do you mean? I said, I paid for Chalahon and I paid for Jindamai. Why are you not doing, man? Do it. Who let the dog out? I don't think anyone did at that point. So, you're quite I'm not very upset. I'm not very upset. Clearly, you're such a dookie then man. Then he starts doing mitte ganne, but he tried to start mitte ganne four times. Each time he yeah. tried starting it, someone yeah. would get brave and come to the front and try and take a picture. He'd have to cut the song and tell the guy, sit down and tell everybody, please sit down. If you sit down, do you say we will do this. How do you say All in Punjabi. Do you say I'm not going to bother with an impression. Right. But he's doing the whole... Was he he direct or polite? No, he's very, very happy. He's like, if you sit down, we can do this. If you sit down, we can do that. Like, trying to incentivize us as if we're children. Please, Abed, or like that kind of level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that stuff. This is three times. At this point, I'm thinking, you promised us a couple of songs you're probably not going to do now at this point. One of them, Sandra's upset about that. I didn't know what the song was. But anyway, he said he was going to do it. He didn't do it. He does mitig on it. At this point, security are overwhelmed. Because everyone comes to the front again and they all have their little moment. He does his uh, song and then leaves immediately because he's thinking the venue staff are going to be pissed. I'm probably going to lose my Le- deposit. Sorry, leaves as in that's the final song. Final or? song, done. No more. No encore, nothing. He's like, yeah, promptly finished. Because he's probably thinking, I can't leave these lot at the front. They're going to get onto me. And he kept going off stage quickly. I think it was an outfit change, but I think he was getting told, you need to get everybody to sit down. Because when he came out the second, when he came out after the intermission, he was politely reminding people, stay seated, stay seated, etc. But mm. no one's going to do that. And it was old people around us, like people in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, reliving their youth. It was actually really cute. That was the biggest takeaway I had, where I sat there and thought, looking around, I'm seeing all these people, and I'm thinking, they're reliving a bit of their younger days here. Let them have it. It's cool. As in, these are the people who were running up to the stage, yeah? Yeah, and I'm looking down and I'm thinking, you're all middle-aged. And that's fine. Nothing wrong with that at all. If that's your demographic of audience, cool. Should I be or not should I be? I, I 
probably, probably, probably. Yeah. Let's be real. Yeah. And then alcohol was sold at the venue. Yeah? Yes, it was sold at the venue. And obviously, yeah. come at the end again, Gurren, when Matigan is on. The Niana, who had his moment earlier, has now got his second moment on stage, which is great. Which is great. So happy for the little Niana. Teri madi, teri madi I'm telling you. I saw the real the story. You're like, oh, your mom's sugar's run out. <laughs> That's what Sandra showed me to write. She, she was correct. She was correct. The boss man. The boss man. She was correct. Now, people were dancing in the aisles around me, Gurren. One mm. of which... Push down to practice. One of which I saw a guy hitting on another woman politely, doing some nutch, 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 nutch in the darkness with her. Uh, sorry, demo. The woman was dancing in two, front of him. You got your two hands. Go on. Two all hands right. are here, yeah. They're just dancing yeah. in front, like all happy and stuff, jiggly stuff. This guy was dancing in the weirdest way possible. He was doing this. If the lady, if the lady is the mic, Garen, he was doing the this. lady's the mic. Look at my face. He was doing this. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, but which which way is she facing when he's him, doing this? Him. She's facing him. He's doing this. She's facing him. And Malkit Singh is behind him on the stage. Okay, 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 okay. But he's, he's doing, doing this the, like he looks like he's dole, doing dole, like no dole. look at his hands. Shell. His hands look like he's doing something provocative. Right? And I was like, bro, what are you doing? Like, what are you actually doing? Do you not see how you look right now? No, you don't, obviously. You don't have a mirror. And he was like Minuch on the literally, <laughs> literally. For those who didn't get the reference, you gotta go on YouTube and watch the video because I'm not explaining how I just did that. There's a video of this. This is the, uh, the impression I've just done now. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You mean your impression right now? I yeah. thought you meant the actual video of the person. I yeah, think yeah, I have a video of the person, Guys, but I didn't put it up because it was dark. And Sam said, don't do that. It's, it's mean. I thought, okay, fine, whatever. Whatever, I went in. How did me. the lady uh, in question respond to these, the mating I think she was fine the, with the it. Male. Yeah, fine. It, was, it wasn't like it was random and she was unsafe. It was just a guy dancing in the aisle. I saw a woman stack it um, on the steps and nearly hurt themselves, which was quite funny. <laughs> Uh, good. middle-aged aunties like in their 60s and 70s having like a proper like clap clap notch notch. i was like oh this is cute it's quite cute clap 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 notch notch yeah yeah buddy all that it was it's great rhythm good rhythm good rhythm very solid rhythm very solid rhythm i need to give a shout out uh i met Two. a lovely fella uh, at fan. the start of it. Met a fan? Was yes, a fan? I met a guy called Anoop. So Anoop met me in the queue. Um, what happened was I was queuing to get the lift up to the fifth or sixth floor or something in the venue. And his dad came up to me. He's like, your mucha is amazing. I was like, thank you. Thank you. And then Anoop turned around and said, I know you from somewhere. Someone TikTok. I said, yeah. He's like, which one? I said, brown TikTok. Indian doctor, he's like, Indian doctor, yeah, yeah, I love your stuff, man. I was like, cheers, thank you, thank you. And then he got a picture, and then I left, and then I think his family was saying, who was that you got a picture with? Is he famous? And I was like, I, I, yeah. I, I went in and lift quickly, and I was like, okay, off you <laughs> go. And then Sanjay's sister and her mate were like, oh my God, you're, you're famous. So I was like, really not. I'm just in an audience of people that know me. It's, it's, it's nothing. Genuinely, it's nothing. Yeah, how, what's the difference between that being famous? Then? It's not. It's not really. I was just like, yeah. Well, it's not like... It's Let's just be real, yeah. Let's be real one second. Sanj, was that Akia? Yeah, yeah. Sanj, Aki and their friend. Did they cast for a picture with them? It's a very good point. It's a very good point. So you know, comparatively, you uh, you are famous. So well, there you have it. There, there you have it, mate. So embrace it. That yeah. was fun. Uh, shout out to Anoop. Good to meet you, bro. Then after that, we went to go and eat. Then went to a rave on the attached venue next to it. Sorry? Yeah. How old are you? I felt old at the end of it. If that's what you're asking, Karen. But uh, bro, this isn't what you do now. Listen, it's not, you're, a this serious, is what... you're a serious man who is a homeowner Karen. with responsibilities Karen. Karen. and work the next day. Karen. What work the next day? It was a Friday night. It was the same night you got Salia. in for the AJ have fight. You seen, have you seen the state of your house? in <laughs> Have you Karama. not looked at the age of your every baby? Why minutes, were you home at 2 a.m.? Yeah, every don't, don't two do minutes, this. Huh? Don't do this, okay? Rave, rave, rave to the left. What do you, who do you think you are? Oh, Mixie and AJ fight, yeah. Could have done both of that at home, right? Don't do this. Don't play this game with me. I will win. At least I went with the Vorti out, yeah? 
I had I had permission. No, but it just doesn't seem in keeping with your character. That's what I'm more confused about. The rave was something Sandra wanted to go to. I said, all right, cool. We will go. Thank you. Let's that's go. see, that's all I wanted to hear. It's no, not no, you no, thing, no. is it? You're, I don't you're have a problem. I will role. go. If she wants to go, I will no, go. Exactly. You're in a sportive role. I can see Sandra going to a rave. Good husband. Yeah. Just reference here. My stag Lisbon, much younger Indy. Indy fell asleep in the corner of a club. Lizzie I had rolled, three hours sleep. Got... Okay, mate. Three hours sleep with a fucking Have hangover. you ever seen a man fall asleep in a standing position? You know, I'm going to act it out, right? So imagine this is a kanda. Stop right? fucking doing this in every 10 episodes of the podcast, chup, okay? Chup, chup, chup. All right, cool. Go on YouTube, Dehlo. That's a man having a good time in his sleep right there. <laughs> He looked, he looked dead. And the thing was, right? So we just left him in the corner. And then we came back a little bit later and he's gone. And then we got a message. I'm in bed. I was like, how? I don't swear. How the F? You've got the nights mixed paralyzed. up. You've got the nights mixed up. Bro. You've got all the nights Different mixed night. up. Oh, you got okay, all the okay, nights okay, mixed fine, up. Fine, that fine, was when fine, I was fine. actually I was say, really badly drunk and I left. Yeah. That was the penultimate night. Yeah. Yeah. And that was when I got absolutely smashed and left. This one, I better sleep in the club. You guys kept me awake afterwards, and then we all went home together. I remember that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> anyway, so Andy went to a rave, stayed awake. Went to the rave. So who's at the rave? Uh, who's me, at the Sanj, rave? Sanj, and, and their friend, which is cool. Yeah. Uh, went to the rave. It was like a, it was meant to be a Bangara dance, garage, techno kind of vibe. We only got the techno vibe. There was no Bangara. I think we got there late. Because he went to eat. What, what time did you get there? We got in there for about half 11. Left at about just half one. Surely that's just a start though, no? Like normal club, well, like, the, half 11. The, the guys who started were Sings and we missed them. And I was like, oh, oh dear. All right. I all felt right. bad. But Sanjay had a good time. Becky had a good time. I've never been to like a rave like that before. Where it was people from all walks of life, all ages, everything. And I just sat there like, and I just, doing your moves? no, no, I'm standing there. I'm looking at the DJ and I'm looking out into the audience at the same time as well. And some people were just, I could tell they would taken a lot of stuff. <laughs> and they were having a good time. Nusha. Yeah. No, no, all the Nusha. And I thought, you know what? Fair play. If you have all the Nusha, you don't need to have yeah. alcohol. It's the same thing. If you take a Molly and if you have a lot of alcohol, the Molly is, means you don't have to keep going to the bar every 10 minutes. You can just enjoy it. So there you go. That was interesting. Very interesting. As Sanjay said, it looks like you're not having a good time. I said, genuinely, I'm just looking at people because people watching right now is actually really entertaining. So there you go. Yeah, it's just not your scene, is it? It's not, it's not, it's not my scene. I, I actually wanted to hear some really cool music, but techno music gets a bit repetitive at, at points. Mm. And I thought, that's okay. And if you haven't got the nasha, you're just, you're just there and you're just like, okay. Yeah, there comes a point where you're like, okay, there's a tipping point here, but it's cool. I'm thinking... If, if they want to stay, we can stay. Just rain late bloomer when he's in the club, just like what is going on. But yeah, then his mate, kind of. you know, the mate keeps following that rabbit because he's like yes. proper high, <laughs> kind of like that, yeah, but not like that. Neil. Anyway, yeah. so I found that interesting. Got home late, late, like about three, and then went oh. to bed at four. So there you go. Right. So your Saturday was written off as well. So my Saturday was tired. Woke up, went gym, yeah. drove to Birmingham, exhausted. Wait till you have a baby. Is the key? <sighs> no raving for me no oh, going to the snooker you. one night then going to london the next night then going to the badminton the other night then going to mixy with the friends the next night then sleeping in another room the other nights <laughs> life is good my friend my key guys are yeah no shit. My key guys are no shit okay life is good life is good life's very good oh god Anyway, so, Mulukit Singh, uh, uh, 5 out of 10. That's what I would rate it, okay? 5 out of 10. 5. Okay. Mulukit Baji. Sounds like he what just a... needs a better entourage. He needs high production value. That's what it sounds like. That's I think he does, but when the standards are depends, high... It depends why he did the show. Yeah, I mean, look, it's not Dajit. No, it's not. It? Like, but it's not but that, I do it? respect the fact that he sang everything live. He didn't put a backing track on. A lot of others would have put a backing track on within 10 minutes. He did all of it on his own. Even though it wasn't up to standard, still respect him for that. <laughs> Even though he didn't do all the hicks. I let him off. He didn't do all the hicks, and I'm still upset about that. Still I paid for a Jindamahi hick every chorus him. intro. He didn't do it. He skipped Message him. him. Message him. Message him. It's fine. Don't worry. It's all good. It's all good, Garden. All good. Made my peace.
Okay. Next segment hai. Hanji Paji. Yes. That was in different. So I'd edge that one out a little bit. Anyway. Just got in sync. Did you hear what? about what Sunny saying? I did. Indicate. Sunny Singh. Tell me about Sunny Singh. You have a lot of Sunnies in your life. You've got a lot of Sunnies in your life. Sunny Singh Gill, the first Singh referee who made his debut in the Premier League. SSG. Well done, Put. Well done. Genuinely proud. Landmark moment. Landmark moment. So let's just be clear. First brown person, first Punjabi, first Sikh, like what level are we talking? I think it's first Sikh referee don't think he's the first brown because technically okay. him and his brother were the first fourth officials in oh, football okay. so fourth officials are the guys on the sidelines right uh but referee in the actual match is a big deal like the four sorry match. sorry when you say fourth officials you know the guys who do the offside them you want about or no uh that's linesman sorry fourth yeah official, not you got the main uh, yeah who's it? the var people the fourth officials are the guys who stand in between the managers oh yeah 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 okay there you go. That guy. Okay. I've got to say, he, um, the few images I have seen, he, he's talk, man. Thing is, those referee tops don't make you look very flattering. He looked, Bill, man, he looked like, you wouldn't mess with this guy. I, I wouldn't mess with him anyway because he's got the authority. But yeah, 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 yeah. No, those he tops actually looks physically... that all of them wear, it's yeah. not flattering for him. Like they have okay. this massive weird box on their arm because I think that's their tracking device or audio devices. They oh, have their shoulder pad looking thing. So oh, it just makes them look okay. really like bulky. Boxy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So okay. good for Sunny, man. I'm I'm very actually happy to see that. Um, I put it on Instagram the other day saying good that, good that this has happened, but mm-hmm. I hope he doesn't get much racist abuse because we know what football terraces are like. But he was put in the game at Luton. So I don't think there was much controversy there where he has mm. to deal with many high profile issues mm. let me but, ask you a question yeah because you yeah, you obviously watch a lot more football than me so in the world today in various different things and football is no um exception there is this conversation about representation right yes my question is when we look at something like this in, in my mind what he's doing is very niche First of all, is that is that referee? Is that fair? Yeah. yeah. Is, that, is that fair to say? I don't know how many referees there are, so I, I really can't say. Obviously, for every what? single game of football, there has to be a referee. Be a referee. Yeah. So there has to be hundreds or potentially thousands of them. Whether they're to a good level or not is different. Yeah. Okay. And then I think about, obviously, very happy that this clearly is what Sonny wants to do and he's got to that point. But part of me is like, do we see a la- lack of sick people in certain things because they've been blocked or is it genuinely that they just don't want to do these things what do you think no, i think it's about both like i think about it and i'm like i know no one in my circle i'm not talking about him specifically but actually i didn't i know no one who wanted to be a referee for example but there are certain things when i look at the example i'm like yeah i don't know i don't know anyone who actually wants to go and do that but then the argument just becomes oh just they're just blocked and it's just like racism and da da da. I'm I don't not saying think that it's isn't blocked there. in refereeing. Um, I don't mm. know what the percentages are, the numbers, so I really can't give an opinion. What I'll give an opinion on is footballers themselves making it through. That mm. is suspicious. So there's not a lot of up and that play football to a high level. Whether that's because they're pushed into other sports that are more preferable, like cricket or something Which, that's... even if you look at that there's not that much look at England team right so whether they're pushed more into that compared to a sport like football mm. also in football it's very very hard to make it there's so many footballers who get into an academy and then they're dropped by the age of 15 16 when they're eligible for their first adult contract and then that's their life pretty much changed now they're back in school and they're trying to get a normal job so a mm. lot just don't simply make it through because they're not good enough and it also depends on the level of coaching you receive, what type of player you are. Are you going to be obedient to the analytics? Are you a flair player? Because flair players in football are dying out. So it's all Sorry, very situational. What's, what's a flair player? A Ronaldinho kind of player. That's the best it, way I can okay. describe it. Got a it, player it, who yeah. gets on the ball and makes some magic happen. Magic. Or they just mm. see things differently to just a traditional footballer now who is more of a robotic type, which is all about, did you score a goal? Did you get an assist? Yes. 
what's your past completion rate? Like all those really oh, like weird pure stats. analytics, pure analytics. But back in the day, it wasn't pure analytics. It was this is football. This is the beautiful game. Look at what he does to a football. Look how he plays with the football. That so when you look at people like um, again, I don't know many players, but Haaland and Mbappe, are they not flair players? No, they're volume players. Really, they require you don't, a lot. You don't of, think they're magic? They no, they require oh, a lot of output. And they require a lot of opportunities in to get the same level of output out. So Harlan last season broke all the goal scoring records in the Premier League, but the mm. amount of chances he had created for him were unbelievably high compared to others that don't have that same luxury. Now, with a football themselves, do you watch them play football and do you are you wowed by them? Like, Sorry, are you, saw... are you saying in the Harlan example then that he's just a, a good finisher? Is that all you're saying? He'd supply yeah, the ball, good exactly balls in. That's what you're saying. I'm saying, okay. I'm saying he's, he's a good finisher, a great movement, yep. but I wouldn't pay to watch him in like a skills challenge or something or watch him do a freestyle oh, no, with no, a football. No, no, no. Oh, okay, Whereas okay. if you give it to Wayne Rooney, he'll do something special with that football. If you give him the ball, he'll drop into midfield and make something happen. He'll grab a game by the scruff of the, by the, scruff of the neck. That's the, that's the level. And me and you, Karen, we were lucky enough to grow up in an era where we saw those great Brazilian players. Mm. Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, Cafu, yep. Yep. Rivaldo, those guys. And that was when we were kids. Mm. Who's and the flair player right like, now? F- there isn't there isn't many. Maybe one Does or two like example? Jack Grealish and Phil Foden. Maybe. Okay. But okay. but they're not massive. At that same fair. level. Yeah. Nah. When you watch the highlights of mm. what Ronaldinho or Omri were doing in their prime, they were just fucking yeah. around with the football and it was just running through people. Yeah. 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 So special. You don't get that anymore. So going anyway, back to going the back point to before this, which is up and I don't know if they're blocked in football or not. It'd be interesting to see because similar to when, who is it? The guy who went on trial talking about race, talking about systemic racism in cricket. Yes. Azim Rafiq. Yep. Yep. At Lancashire. Yep. He was mentioning how Asians are blocked in some areas and they're not able to get through and they're not given the same opportunities. Mm. and they just have to accept that when they get their chance, it's their chance, but others around you, you're not supposed to say anything. Does the same thing happen mm. in football? I, I don't know. Mm. So I can't but really I say. I guess it. it's reasonable to say that if it happens in one sport, it probably is happening to degree. And I agree, and that's fair. I just mean in certain things, which are very niche, I think lack of representation could just be explained by it. That's just not something we want to do. Well, you could, well, this goes back to the Jordan Peterson theory, isn't it? Which is mm. you'll have over-representation in nurses of women because they are... It's a female dominated profession, yep. but you have an over representation of male engineers because it's a male yep. profession. So mm. you can get some representation quotas in some places and fields if there is a demand for it, but you can't just shoehorn them in for the sake of it. Correct. I agree with that. So I don't know is, is the answer. Mm. Going back to Sonny though, his dad, yeah. Bupinder Singh Gill, he's Bupinder. actually a legend. Right, go on. He's a uh, first Singh bug wearing referee that happened so the first mm. thing to wear a bug as a referee in the championship back in the 2000s wow. and okay. i was watching an interview with him earlier he's actually got a stutter right okay and i watched it and i thought raw so you dealt with that and you were still having to run things on a football pitch and command respect from other footballers that are really amped up in the moment I wonder though, when he's in that environment, whether the structure improved in the same way. Maybe that's a very. When you point. get distracted, it just fades away, doesn't it? Um, yeah. So maybe. Really impressive, but watched a quick interview with him earlier, and uh, yeah, genuinely a very proud guy, very happy guy. What did you make of um, this uh, person? I don't know who he. I think he's a former referee, three hundred games. So Mike Dean came out after yeah. the referee and apparently called him out, and there were all these clickbaity headlines saying, "Oh, mm. all this shit." He calls him out. He slams him. He yeah. said this. He took him down. Outrage. <laughs> yeah, outrage. All that this outrage. dumbass headline shit, right? Yeah, yeah. And then when you click it and look at it, it's simply he said, "Why is the referee Sunny Singh signing autographs Fine. at the start of the game or the middle of the game at halftime?" Should be done at the end of the game. That's all he said. Nothing else. To me, I think it's neither here nor there. But end of the game is completely fine. If the end of the game's fine, then no, whatever. It's half time. The players are. have gone off. The players are in the tunnel. What's wrong with that? I don't know. See, that, that comment to me was a bit like, what was the need for your comment? 
but Mike Dean's also the same referee who made a lot of refereeing games about himself. So he would do really extravagant. Let me just check it's the same person. Hang on. <laughs> Before, Before I get I started doing really that. deep into this. Yeah. Come on. Mike Dean, football. Mike Dean. Oh, yeah, this little line. fucker. Right, it is him. So he's the guy who makes all these weird facial expressions whenever he gives a penalty. You know how sometimes right. if somebody has a foul and they point to the spot, he will do like some, like do some stupid shit like that. Oh, or like he'll over the like top. stop here, there, boom, ref card out. Like he'll make it about himself <laughs> doing some disco moves and stuff. I'm thinking, what <laughs> are you doing? Disco moves. Oh, and he gives a disco. He just did it like card in pocket. Yeah, done. <laughs> right? Statue it's of just, Liberty pose. <laughs> it's so stupid. So it's quite rich for him to say, oh, stop making yeah, it about yeah, yourself yeah. and stuff. I'm like, yeah, yeah. all you did for years was make the game about yourself in refereeing decisions. Shut up, right? Or as a brother would say, shut up. Shut up, yeah. Shut up. When you say, when you think, when you say that, I think of our other friend, Sonny. Oh, I do, too. I do too. Shut up. Shut up. Shout out to So Hilarious, who will come on the podcast. Sad that boy. When we can do it in person. If you're wondering he why he's not been on, UK. he's one of our best friends. It's because we don't want to do it virtually. That is the truth. So there you go. He just needs to make a trip over to the UK. Or oh, we will go to Canada. Maybe. Because we have many people to podcast with. There's a list, an ever-growing list. We're going on tour. If Maybe. you want to join the party bus, Indian News message card, Leo, add you to the waiting list. Come on the flight. Groupies. Yeah. All good, buddy. No. We're not doing that. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I, we could use a couple of right groupies, there. man. We'll, we'll get an RV. <laughs> I don't know. No, Karan. Indi- no. Indian doctor on Indian doctor on tour. No, Karan. No. What? What? What do you? What, what's wrong? We're not doing rock stars. Rock stars, bro. No, Karan. No. <laughs> B-roll footage all day. Body of content, banua. Why don't we just have a normal, nice evening and just go and film something? Yeah, for let, the fun? let's go to let's go to a concert and cross our legs and be like, oh yeah, do the heck, man, do the heck, yeah. That's what I, I wanted to really do. Good time, and then and then the, he's like, Zor de Italia, and he's like, I did do that. You know, fair, you know, you know, it reminds me of uh, Jay Z, Kanye, last extra show, uh, Watch the Throne, Birmingham, twenty something. Beyonce's in the crowd. There with my sister, shout out to me. And um, it's Jay-Z Kanye, man. And they're dropping it. And uh, Mayor was so funny. Mayor was just like, yeah, really good. Yeah. I'm having such a good time. I imagine you're the Ray, basically. Mayor, basically like, Mayor, oh, Mayor, you can let yourself go, you know. You can just... And she's like, yeah, I'm having a really good time. I was like, okay. It doesn't look like you're having a good time. She's like, yeah, well, she's she stressed. No, she's not stressed. Uh, I tease about this often. She's like, it's how I enjoy I want to enjoy the art, the music. I don't have to be like the rest of the lot, you know. She needed a, she needed a um, a seated seat. She needed to be in the, in the, in the no. Bed. This was this was seated. We had platform oh, okay. seats. It was seated, right, but fine, fine. you see, it, but everyone's standing, right? Like it's not. It's all good. It's good all and everything. Um, That's a good point. But uh, yeah, that was quite funny. That's what it reminded me of. So uh, so yeah, buddy. There you go. Well, there you go. Shout out to him and his family. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Is there a representation <laughs> issue? I don't know if it is. I need to look at some stats. I might have an opinion on it in the future. Right now. Menuni Bata. Karan, Could you give me your question, please. So, what's very nice is this is also football themed. Well, the answer is one of the potential solutions to what I'm going to ask you is, potential, is football themed. So, you are at an event, Tiga? Hmm. Farj Karlo. Ki? That's your new word for today. Farj means um, just suppose. So you're an event, and I went Farj Carlo. So just suppose Farj Carlo. Oh, just suppose. Okay, just I suppose. You were saying juxtapose. I was like, what? <laughs> Extreme language here. Okay. Advanced level Punjabi today. Try to say Farj. Farj. Najo Farj. There you go. Yeah, buddy. So Farj Carlo. Azi ge sokumi saud part the. Tiga. This is actually actually this is the example of ekam sokumi saud part. At this point, you've already left. Right, I'm downstairs. People, obviously, the part is done now. Some people are going to have longer. Some people are going to shoot straight off. We've got to give them the mitta and everything. The, the you, thankfully, uh, picked up all this dabbe and didn't break your back. So 
Thank you, Thank you. David. Thank you. Thank you. Next time I will furnish you with um, one of those trolley things. The That's IKEA the trolley. De- delivery, the delivery thing. And, oh, oh, shit. So Meher also rings me and says, yeah, I know exactly how Indy felt when you were patronizing him with your directions. I know you, you mean Meher. well. I said, you know what? That's it. I'm not going to help anymore. It's fine. It's a one-way system. He's not from Warsaw. There was very... For a reason, okay, but fine. If you're if you're saying as on my head, that's that's fine. Then I'm just not going to thank you, be... Mehed. Thank you for having my back. Appreciate it. Thank just, you. Just tries to help. You know, I do a geography easy, anyway. I get the one chance to use it for good, and this guy deprives me of all those capabilities. That's true. That's ah. true. Yeah. Zero trust there. And uh, anyway, so so can you stop here? I'm there. I'm downstairs talking to people. Now everybody wants to speak to you, right? Catch her, Pazik, um, she's beautiful, da 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 giving you advice, da 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 Rodda and his Mrs. Shira, shout out to those two, are like here. I can see them. I can see that they need to go. They're good friends. They want to say bye. So here's the Saval Indi, Indivir, Jagaya. When someone's clearly engaged in a conversation with somebody, how do you get in just to do the quick, yeah, love to love see you, yeah, yeah, we'll see each other soon. And the thing is, they're close enough where it's fine. I generally will see them soon. It's like if you're you and Sanja leaving, it's like, yeah, Tika, I'm going to see you. Like, I was going to see you anyway later, but you see what I mean? So what's the strategy to get in there? And I'll give you Lord's answer in a bit. feel as though you have to... Well, the problem is, Garden, you're short, isn't it? So it's a bit difficult. Well, that's, the a, hype, that, that, the that, hype, mate, that's, that's a really nice way to start. You just stopped, you went, short, you're short, pause, do you know what it Explain. is? Explain. How about explaining that point? I'm about to. If you let Sala me get Kandira. to my point. Yeah. No, you went, you're point. short and then started smiling. I was like, that's no, really I nice. said you're short and I was like, I'm, I have to articulate this really nicely. Okay, so, Garden, because of your compromising height. Wow. <laughs> wow. Why don't you just say disability? Okay, there. It's not a disability. If you no, had no, a disability bro. badge, comp- if you had comp- a disability badge, if you had a disability badge, I would rinse, I would rinse the shit out of that. Okay, but we don't. We don't have it. Okay. So, because of your eyeline level with other people as you're talking, Do, normally, okay. if you, you want, want to, to get someone else, nicely. let me land. Let me land. Okay. Normally, when you want to get someone's attention, you can hover around the existing person and just be like, "Hello, yeah, I'm, I'm going." You can make the gesture. And then they'll no, that's, get it. That, that's fine if you want to go though. And then you do the... the and you do the... Oh, you do. See you soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, but this isn't that. I'm asking you when you physically want to have the conversation with them, how do you get in there? That's the question. Those people are fine. Those... Say bye. Yeah. How do you get well, in? That's your, well, that's your gentle probing. If you want to do that, <clears throat> you can just... You expect the person you're gesturing to here to break the conversation. Excuse me, I just need to say bye. Then you say bye. Then they come back to the conversation. That's what I would do. People that know me well enough would do that. So you, okay. But in, so in that situation, you're going to be the one that instigates it rather yeah. than the person butting in and be like, sorry, sorry to disturb you. Would you prefer someone just butts in? Uh, you can, can butt in. Or you can just tap me on the shoulder if I'm engaging in the conversation. Be like, yeah, you're like, I'm going. I'll be like, bye. Just give you a hug. Bye. Done. Real simple. Hmm. Fine. What was Rod's so, suggestion? Well, I'll tell you that in a second, but Guys, sorry to all the disabled short people that Indy has offended. Uh, I mean, I was only using it for of, the situation. Let's not well, be, it's just a, let's not it's be just, over the top here. It's just a mean old person, not you. Just, let's not be dramatic here. Not ganjira, you? How? How does that make me a ganjira? That, that, that doesn't make you a ganjira. So, right, coming back to it, Roda's suggestion. He uses what he calls the free kick analogy. The free kick analogy. Nice. Yes. So remember. Tell me more. Remember the days before the magic spray. Yes. The ref had. What would the what would the wall do? Ten yards of an edge forward. So what he does he does is, and he did this. He he's out of frame. And he's just slowly coming into frame. And then uh, Rota's massive. Rota's like genuinely massive, yeah? Um, and he, and he, and he has there. his little smile on his face as well as he's doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's just like edging in until he's basically in there. And I'm like, okay, so now we need to have a conversation because the other person, like, 
<laughs> he didn't actually do this, but imagine he just comes in between the person. <laughs> his reflective like, son yeah, coming off now. his teeth and forehead. you will be like, mm-hmm. okay. Yes. Okay. Yes or no? <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> what what, what, what yes. is it? Um, but yeah, that, that was his suggestion. The free kick analogy. Just edge your way in, inch by inch, until the other person... He, just what cracks. he wants is, he wants the other person to be like, oh, sorry, do you need to... He breaks it that way. Yeah, if you don't mind, and then he's, whoosh, he's straight in. Whoosh, straight in. Mm. He's very slick. He's very slick. So, uh, see, so yeah, see. guys. Mitro, what's, what's your thing? There's, there's a couple of different... like. I've gone through phases where I'm like, you know, when you say I'm not the main person, it's the main person's event and they're clearly engaged and they're busy. Sometimes I don't say bye as in physically. I'll just be like, I'll send them a message. We're close enough. They're engaged. They're doing family stuff. I'm a friend. I get it. I've done that so a couple of times to you. Like at the venue thing, you were deep in Bart and I thought, okay, I'll just send him a message. I'm going to go now. Bye. You didn't think I was sleeping, yeah? Sama. Hey, I didn't say that. Someone else said that about you. That's yeah. true. You told me about it. Though. Yes, yes, that's, Thank true. that's true. I told that's you true. about it. I was nice enough to not mock you. Look at you. I told you. I told you. You were short, man. Metrum dasta. Yes. Listen, you yeah. limbically challenged Munda. Okay, it's fine. Wow, wow. You just, you just, wow. <laughs> you know, if I didn't have a reason to not talk to you before this podcast, I think, yeah, yeah. I think we, we need a break. <laughs> Guys, what do you think oh, about that? Okay. What, what do you think about that? If podcast has a bit of a break. Yeah. You know, it's funny. You look like the, that gif you sent me, The Rock. <laughs> the so good one. because it was so you. That's so your face. Exactly. Because no, no. then you go into this, he goes, okay. Okay. <laughs> Have your little moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, right, guys. Let us know your strategies of uh, how you do you say bye. How, how would you do it, Karen? How would you do it? Yeah, like I said, so sometimes I just leave and send a message. <coughs> oh, yeah, I'm straight in there. I interrupt. I wait for the, the natural pause. Sorry to interrupt. Love you to see you. I'll see you soon. That's it. Very quick. Very direct. Done. Yeah, very good point. Don't like to linger. If you, if you left... Okay, here's the point. If mm. on that event at, at Ekam Spart, I wasn't seeing yeah. you in the evening... If you weren't seeing me in the evening, yeah, okay. I would have wanted to say bye to you properly. Wait, one second, one second. So I'm there. Yes. No, no, no. I would have waited for you to. I would have waited for you to come out of your trance. Yeah. Okay, we don't we don't call it trance in the. I'm kidding. I'm taking the piss. I'm taking the piss. I'm not, okay. not a snake charmer. <laughs> What's the actual word for it? Samadhi. 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 I would have waited for you to come out of your samadhi. I would have keep looking over every twenty seconds. Hoping for like some eye-opening activity. Yeah, he's awake, he's awake, he's awake. He's awake, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Bye. <laughs> or what you could do, see, the, the other, even if the eye doesn't, the eyes don't open, the eye doesn't wake. If the, even if the eyes don't open, you wait indeed for the change in leg position. Because then you know, oh, okay, there's an in here. Or I could tickle the toes. That could work. You could tickle, what, bro? Some kinky behavior, man. The bar sabdi just, just it's not kinky. Tickle the toes. You want to tickle another man's toes? What's wrong with you? It's just to be like, yo, are you with with your with your toes or with your fingers? Fingers, obviously. Come on, have some shame. With my. Why toes. is that better than the other one? Sorry. Because to do that is really mad. Like, okay, I could just be stretching over, and then all of a sudden the fingers just touch touch on the toes. Yeah. Imagine doing that. Me stretching my leg out and then putting my foot on. I'm like, hello. Right? No, that's weird. I get jealous of how Sanjay's on the other side and she got to say hi and bye to Ekam and Shindi. But I couldn't do that with you. So sorry, sorry, sorry. I just just, just, just want to unpick that. You felt jealous of Sanj. So you're basically saying, Karin, I'm upset that you were doing Bart in the place of Bart and that therefore meant that I couldn't can you Same see point. how whenever I give a situation sucks. now and you're being this difficult about it with some random yeah. story that doesn't make sense. I just asked you earlier in the podcast, would you not do yeah. the same thing as what I just did then? And you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've just fucking done it. Okay. <laughs> just, just done one story? You've just done the same thing that I said earlier. If the opportunity presents itself, would you not be doing the same thing I'm doing right now? And you were no. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just did it. Okay. No, no, no. You just did it. No. Okay. Obviously, I'm not angry at you doing part. Of course I am not. It does sound like right. that. I was just a little bit like, okay, I didn't say bye. But Sanj got <laughs> all the hugs from Egham. Right. 
And I would actually you, sit there would, would and you? with a straight back on the front row of the Dunbar side, <laughs> holding it down for all the Munde, like it was on my wedding day. Okay, straight back, nothing was moving, everything perfect. Came out of it with back spasms, but it was worth it. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> the guy, the guy in the video had to carry a hundred cake boxes, hundred and one cake boxes that day. So hundred kilogram attack, boxes. Attack, okay, attack, attack number one on his back, and then <laughs> straight back for like two and a half hours into the bar. So, it. but see, okay. you see, it sets a precedent, right? You meet Roda over there. You had the oldens, obviously on the side or whatever, and some behind. But you had some younguns against the wall as well, and I was like, that's, that's not what you do, man. It's not what you do. It's not what you do. It's not what you do. Poor form. It's poor form. Yeah, very poor form. Very poor form. So you're an invader to say bye. Uh, I would send a text message or I would do the whole like wave behind the other person that can't see. So the person you're interacting with, I will stand directly behind them so you can see me in the eyeline, eyeline sight. And then mm. there you go, bam. Best way. Okay. Guys, let us know. Tell to us if you please. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye Next segment. What's happening, Doctor? Just got to sing, Mavi. You're being really weird, my name today, aren't you? Why? Just you just don't refer to me ever in this way. <laughs> Thought you'd yeah. like it. Yeah, yeah, formal. It's been really formal. Yeah, it's been a very formal episode for you, isn't it? A little mm. bit, a little bit. Yeah, Mucky saying, just not having a good time, little Ducky. Um, so what's lucky. happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? So, you see the AJ fight? I did not, because you know I was at Raven. You were, but have you seen the knockout? Yeah, I saw it. You're you're a UFC fan, is that correct? Correct. Right, give me some. I, before like Tyson Fury, I didn't know who Nagani was. I understand he's got the heaviest punch in history or something. They've said in the UFC. Yeah, I've never seen him get knocked out before, so that was a bit like whoa. Mm. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's built uh, like a tank, I, man. I might have done. Mm. Mm. But it's not a common occurrence, I presume. No. Hence why I was a bit like, okay, that was weird. Mm. But no, boxing is a different big... game, isn't it? If it's a real Absolutely. fight. No, he said that. Yeah, yeah. He said, to be honest, there's a lot of respect between those two, but I think... But he's got paid the... millions and millions and millions compared million to what he would have made in the UFC. UFC. So I think they said his last UFC fight, he made 600K and he made 20 million off that one. In two rounds, whatever it was. Good. Get your money, man. Yeah, but look, fair play, man. Like uh, I told you, man, Nadal going to the Saudi quarter of, three quarters of a billion dollars contract. Snooker's gone out there, Ronnie O'Sullivan smashing it. One that bloody, bloody Ronnie O'Sullivan, man. I went to see him in Telford. He loses 6 0. Tiga. Man goes there, plays John Higgins, another legend of the game. Five centuries. John Higgins, the whole match scored four points and that was a foul from Ronnie. He didn't pot one ball. I said to Jamie, wow. I was like, we go and see him in Telford and he clearly does not give a shit. The prize money is shit. The crowd is shit. He doesn't give a shit. Then he goes to Saudi land with all the best and he's like, yeah, Ronnie, I get Ronnie, 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 Rocket. And I was like, mate, these, but fair play, man. He's not going where the money is. Um, he knows what he's doing. Clearly. The fight, uh, the press conference, um, the final one before the fight, Tyson Fury was giving a bit of this. And the guy, and the guy you basically said, listen, in a boxing ring, you're protected. But outside of that, you better stay five meters away. You know what's mad? John Fury said, fuck all. At that point, everyone said, you know how it's real? Because John yeah. Fury isn't doing his normal his shenanigans. Usual. He's just yeah, sitting yeah. there like, you know what? Yeah, he's actually right. You know, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's been battering me. He's like, he's always, I beat you every day and twice on Sunday. Yeah. I'll beat you up. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, Facts in it. But yeah, you're right. Boxing um, is obviously very different, different to MMA. What it does show is Fury was not in, you know, in shape at all when he fought Naganyu. Um, whereas AJ, see, AJ is interesting, man. We, we were having this debate, uh, our Kian boys, about AJ and Fury and who's better at the moment. Hopefully they fight soon. But AJ, obviously, okay, this one he was expected to win, but he won in devastating fashion. Prior to that, he fought. Uh, that Canadian dude, Ot Otlin or something. And again, whatever in it. Um, Wild isn't out of the mix now because he got battered by Joseph Parker. But in the post-fight conference, you know, AJ saying he wants to fight everyone. Uzik, 
Wilder if he comes back on the scene, Joseph Parker, Zhang, Fury. He just wants to just clean up the scene, man. And at the moment, AJ looks good, man. I'm happy he looks sharp. So, uh, so yeah. Let's see. I mean, I'm not a big boxing fan, so half of the names you mentioned I have no idea about. But right, good. All we care about is just a big fight. Is he going to fight Fury or not? That's it. Yeah. But Fury has to get through music first. Music, music fought on the day of your uh, wedding. He did, yes. AJ, he said, I don't know what's happening that day in Ukraine, but it ain't that nice. Iconic line. Absolutely iconic line. Oh, yeah. And he said, Bismillah. Oh, God. Absolutely yeah, yeah. iconic line. The goes, one thing I will say about AJ is that uh, he's not he's not come across well to the public. So that is, did an interview with Louis Drew and he just came across as really unlikable. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, when he's in the ring, I'm like, I'm not a nice guy. The thing is, he 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 does have parts where he he's really charming, like he can be really nice, but that post music when he's his emotions were everywhere. There's a bit in the ring where um I think was, like most fighters after a fight, they have respect or whatever. And Yuzik was like, you are very strong. And he goes, I don't give a F I'm strong. You need skills to win boxing. He goes, if I'm strong, why did you win the fight? And he, then he grabbed like, the Ukraine flag. Then he grabbed his belt and threw them out the ring. Emotions, man. Um, you're right. When he comes across well, he actually does come across well. He, at the moment, he seems very mellow. AJ. Um, but you know, there, there. Like a certain someone I know. Yeah, very mellow. Very mellow. Mellow sing. Mellow sing. Anyway, mellow sing. Uh, I got right, a couple yep. of things to add. So, no. Sortez Ilias live. Good put. Very good put. Uh, he did is, a small is it, little is venue. He a, is he a wicked bro? Yeah. He did a small little venue in Central. Um, hmm. Went to see him. And he was, yeah, very, very good. He's obviously getting ready for his new show that's coming out. I think it's in September. Check out his website for details. But It's coming to Birmingham. Yeah. Very impressed. Uh, very good jokes. Had me absolutely roaring. So I was like, "Wow, you've gone up a level, man." Fair play. Mm. So you've working been on up bits, a long time. I'll sure go. I'll, I'll go and see him for like a full show, which would be great. Mm. What were you say? He's he's been on the scene a long time, like ten years plus. He has, he has. But I don't feel like he's been given enough mm. time, time in the limelight with like a special or like a full tour. Yeah. Yeah, we all no, know him for his Hammer Smith Apollo bit, but we don't know him for his full. Well, plus Man Lamb Bean, he's obviously Man Lamb Bean is a big breakout for him. Yeah, 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 but that's more acting than actual comedy, right? Mm, no, true. But then when you see him there, you're more likely to go and look at his comedy, aren't you? True, um, true. I mean, he is a good actor, man. Like, you know, the number of people who actually think he's that thick, based <laughs> on the character he plays, and then they see his based comedy, the they're like, whoa, yeah, and then whoa, like, oh, he speaks normally. He's a comedian. It's like, yeah, he is, you know, a normal person. <laughs> yeah so, uh, so there you go wild yeah. so that was good recommend people to go and see him mm. then other thing i got impersonated by somebody on instagram someone at least on my information oh yeah mm, yeah man had a little uh had a few people message me be like is this you and then i thought is no, this you it's not me it was some a random person pretending to be me then one guy i haven't spoken to in years got in contact with me saying is this you bro i said no and he said, oh, I've been talking to him for the last 20 minutes trying to figure out who he is then because he was acting a bit weird. He wasn't acting like you. And I thought, you're entertaining this idiot. He's like, yeah, Sorry. I was trying to catch him out. <laughs> so I, mean, I don't know about this. What's this? Who's trying to impersonate you? So there's a common thing now where somebody will copy your Instagram, your page, your, your image, the number of followers you roughly have, they'll buy a bunch of followers. And then mm. they will put in the caption, my old account got hacked. This is my new one. Got it. And then other people will think, oh shit, it's actually this person. Yeah. But what they'll do is, is they'll say, oh, have you been sent a code? If you have, let me know about the code. And then they'll try and potentially try and, I did potentially try and scam you. That's yeah. the best way I can. Something scam related. Okay. So someone did this for your personal it. Instagram yes. account. Correct. Ooh, uh, okay. So that was fun, which good, wasn't. Eh? So managed to figure that out. Uh, but it was a bit scary because I was like, yo, have I been someone jacked my information, but they haven't. They just took the face cover of my Instagram. And it happens to quite a few people now. It's happened to a few friends of mine as well recently. So I just think it comes with... Uh, the territory, man. The, no, no, not even the territory. It comes yeah, the with big the, man, the, isn't the it? part and parcel of being on Instagram. That's being it. a celebrity. Yeah. Not really. Not a celebrity. Big man. It just happens to big normal man. people. Big man. It happens to normal people. Indy's big man, isn't it? You're not normal, bro. You, you get asked to take pictures of you, know, it? Okay. Okay. At least you're better with it. <laughs> you're so much better with it. Thanks. 
<laughs> yes, that's me. Who do I want to give a shout out to? Shout out to Amrit, Summer so Services, Oxford, and uh, just having a Burger King on the way back from London. Amrit walks over, he goes, You Indy? I was like, No. <laughs> I am not in there. <laughs> it makes me happy because no there. one ever says to me, you doctor. <laughs> because man's knowing it. Like, who the real doctor is? You ain't no doctor, innit? I don't like, want to be. You in, yeah, you in D. I was like, no, no. Anyway, so he was a uh, UOB captain this year. Mm. And uh, I was like, oh, but, and I'd seen him like the week before. I obviously performed the UOB set. And, uh, oh, you talked about TBS last week, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. We did. But he was like, he was just reminiscing and I was giving him a bit of advice about, you know, Bhangra and the emotions and so you win some, you don't win some and it's raw at the time. So shout out to Amrit. Uh, shout out to also AJ Fight. I was leaving, I met somebody called Sham. So Sham runs an Instagram page, guys. He's a mental health nurse uh, and it's called Ap- Apne, nee, Apna Kyal Rakhna. Mm. It's a good name. So look after yourself. Uh, and uh, so he stopped me in the and he goes, I love what you do. Keep doing it. Thank you. Uh, and then because of him, I, there was another lady there. She's like, I mean, you're the podcast guy. I was like, yeah, yeah. She goes, I saw you at Showdown as well. I was like, yeah, you did. <laughs> so uh, there you go. See, Karan, it pays to go to these communal desi events, man. You communal events. I do when when I'm permitted to, yeah. When I'm committed to, yes, yes. Permitted, not committed. Permitted. Oh, permitted. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. When logistics work out, you know, but I'd rather go to a badminton or a snooker if I'm honest. Oh my God. <laughs> so weird. So weird. Why, why, sorry, why is that weird? What's weird you, about you, snooker? For the start you're probably the only go. person I know yeah, who goes to, to pay snooker. to go and watch badminton and snooker. So, snooker specifically is, for, I don't know how much you know about snooker, but Ronnie O'Sullivan is. He's the Michael Jordan of that world. He's, he's the GOAT, the absolute GOAT. Like, there's just no one close to him. So to actually see him play is just it's something else, man. The guy took a year off. This is back in the day when I was a medical student. Came back. Like, he had really bad mental health. Still has it, but talks about openly. And just won the world championship. And that level of playing, he's like 33 frames, takes so much concentration, but no one's close to him. Like on his day, you just can't touch this guy. He's just... Anyway, so that's that. And then badminton... See, badminton is one of those sports where there's not, it's not like tennis. There's not much hype around it, which means the tickets are cheap. But I, because I play a lot of badminton, I actually enjoy, it's a good, like I'm going on Friday. Um, that's why you've been kicked out after I see you. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you were like, so why, what are you doing in the evening? Why can we not? Uh, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to badminton. And you're like, okay. I was um, like, it's for fuck's sake, man. Get you your priorities this guy, this straight. Guy. Quarterfinals oh. day, multiple matches going on. It's just, it's just a good, it's a good evening. So uh, I recommend anybody to see it. It's just a beautiful thing. So yeah. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, I like all sports. What I will say is, I've never been to a football match. I, I'm down to go with you. If you You've ever. never been to a football match. I've been to cricket. I've been to Wimbledon. I've been to snooker. I've been to badminton. Name me some other sports. Major basketball. Sports. Uh, nope, but we're booked, so we're going to go. Yeah, um, What's the other big one? What do you call it? Tennis. No, tennis. Yeah, done Wimbledon. Done cricket. Done boxing. That's it. Been a couple of boxing matches. UFC? So yeah, I've, I mean, I've done, uh, no, not been UFC. UFC, football. Probably the only really ones I want to go to. Everything else I've kind of been to. I'll try and take you to a football game, but there's no good Man United games on for a while because we're shit. So don't really fancy wasting the journey. You know what I mean? One of my friends recently told me he gets he's got a box at Arsenal. I'll go every to week, that. every week, five tickets. I will see what I can do. Let's go. Kenny's down as well because obviously Kenny's an Arsenal fan. Let's go. What are you playing at? You're sitting on a gold mine. Yeah, I only found out last week. So yeah, get the ball rolling. Yeah, he gets free O2 tickets as well, like PTK and all that kind of stuff. Got it. Definitely get the ball rolling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now you want to be my friend. Now you want to be my friend. Okay. I've always been your friend. Listen, okay. I'm the one that brings all the connections. I'm the one that brings all the introductions. That's true. But once, that's true. be that's good true. to me. Okay. That's true. That's, that's very true. It's really funny because normally I have to pry out of India. I was like, Indy, so you know this person? Yeah, he's my friend from uni. Everyone's a friend from fucking uni for Indy. And he's like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to jeopardize a friendship by asking anything. I'm like, Indy, I was like, you speak to him and you get this person on the podcast, right? <laughs> Okay. 
Shout out Haroon. Love you lots, bro. <laughs> Haroon's a G, man. I still think about that clip, man. He's like, that auntie knows who she is. <laughs> He's so much venom oh, in that man. clip. man. I, I <laughs> wish I asked him. Who Haroon, is the auntie? Who is the auntie who you're referring to? Who I just want to know. I just wanna we know. all want to know, man. Who is the auntie? He's like, this auntie knows who she is. Oh, yeah. So good. Guftugu. I love using the word now. Guftugu. Top, man. There you go. Right, people. We'll catch you next week. Like the video on the way out. Much love. Drop us a message. Drop us a like. Tell us your thoughts. We'll speak to you soon. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you guys for watching. Check out the rest of our episodes here. And don't forget to subscribe here. We'll see you guys on the next one.